Hi, this is James, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play this lick, which you heard me play in the introduction. Now, this is just one of the many licks taken from my Rock Lick Method for Guitar book, which is now available in most online bookstores, as well as from your local bookstore or even your local library. It's a step-by-step -step method to help you take your rock guitar playing to the next level, and it comes with over 75 minutes of video lessons, demonstrations, and nearly an hour of backing tracks. Now, don't worry, I'm not gonna go on about it too much, because I know you wanna get to lesson, but if you are interested, then check out beneath this video because there's loads of links taking you to all sorts of places where you can learn more, read reviews and so on. So check those out if you're interested. Chapter five in the book is all about repeating licks and sliding scale runs. And today's lick is one of the repeating licks from this chapter. It's the kind of thing you heard Jimi Hendrix. He used to play this idea a lot and it's been picked up and used by players like Slash, Michael Schenker and Kirk Hammett. What's really cool about this lick is it's pretty much one thing. We're just playing round and round, but we're gonna do something really cool with it to make it sound different. So let's have a listen to it over the backing track, then I'll break it down for you, take you through it step by step, and we'll look at how to work it into your playing. So let's check it out now. So the lick is coming from the E minor pentatonic scale. I'm sure you know this already, but just in case, here it is. It's played up at the 12th fret. And it's built around this repeating bending phrase. In fact, most of the lick is simply this idea. Here's what we're doing. We're bending up the 14th fret on the G string. I'm using my second finger for that. Then I'm playing 12 on the B string with my first finger and 15 on the B string with my third finger. Now I will turn it, pick that. I'm going down, up, down on that. It's not the only way to pick it, but that's what I do. If you've got a different method, then feel free to use that. Now the other thing that might be new to you with this lick is using your second finger to bend. This lick is a great way to build the ability to do this, which you'll find really useful in certain situations, especially as you start to play higher up the neck. So I'd probably suggest that you follow the fingering I'm using, even if it's a bit of a bear to start with, gives you a few problems, just persevere and you'll get it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play that idea four times like this. Three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm alternate picking all the way through that. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's how I like to play it. And that's bar one of the lick. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna play that some more, but instead of playing it in groups of three, we're gonna play it in groups of four like this. Instead of going one, two, three, one, two, three, we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we're playing it actually as 16th notes now. Instead of triplets, which are groups of three, we're not having a break, we're keeping going. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. And really, it's just a sound. And learning this lick is gonna get you used to using this in your playing. We'll look at how to integrate it into your solos in a moment. So we're gonna play that five times like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then play the 12th fret on the top E string. Two, three, four, five. Like that. And that's the first two bars. Bar two. And to finish off in the final bar, we're gonna hold down the 12th fret on the top string. We're gonna grab the 15th fret on the B string. We're gonna bend the B string up two frets. We're playing a double stop bend. So we're gonna hit both strings. Then we're gonna do that again. Really sort of, sort of thing that comes from Jimi Hendrix, really. He was one of the, the main guys to do those double stop bends, but it's sort of permeated all rock players now from his influence. Anyway, here's the whole lick slow. Three, four.
bonus tip, make sure you learn this lick in terms of how it fits inside the scale pattern. Let me show you what I mean. So we've got the E minor pentatonic scale pattern up here. Don't just learn the lick as in you play that fret, then you play that fret, then you play this fret. Learn it in terms of how it fits inside that scale pattern, okay? It's like a little idea within the scale pattern. Link it and relate it back to the scale pattern. Really important this, because then when you move the scale pattern around another other keys, you're always going to be able to find that lick. And it's really easy to learn this one because it's only using a few notes in the pattern anyway. So what you also want to practice doing is moving that into other keys. So practice moving like the pentatonic scale up higher up the neck, maybe up to G at the 15th fret. See if you can play the lick up there. Sounds really good up high too, this idea. It really sings out. You could also try moving it up even higher into the key of A. And if you can go higher than that into the key of B minor, up at the sort of 19th fret. And if you've got more frets than that, then keep going. But I can't go any higher on this guitar. And this will get you used to using that fingering up high on the neck, playing up high on the neck, which is a useful skill to develop. And it will just really help you to integrate this idea into your playing, help you find some cool things you can do with it. Okay, your lick challenge is simply to take this little bendy idea and see what you can do with it. Try and make up some other licks of your own, which use it. It might be a case of repeating that round and round, like in this lick, or you might work it in with some other ideas. Something like this, maybe. You know, anything. That, that was just something I played at the top of my head. Just trying to work that idea in there. And that's what you need to do. Slow it down and see what you can come up with because it's by experimenting with these little ideas that they start to become a part of your playing. Not just something that I showed you, but something which, which kind of becomes your own idea. Okay, you start to mix it in with everything else you know, but you've got to practice using it. So practice using these ideas, experimenting, see what you can come up with. And then after a while, you'll find this just works its way automatically into your solos. If you enjoy this lesson, then don't forget to check out my Rock Lick Method for Guitar book. It's basically everything in this video, but a lot more of it. And it comes with 75 minutes of videos and nearly an hour of backing tracks. So check that out. There's links under this video to all the places you can grab that, where you can learn more, read reviews, and all that kind of thing. But for now, I hope you found this video helpful. So good luck with that lick. And I look forward to seeing you in another one of my lessons very soon. So have a great day and catch you then.